Now, tell me, what do you get when you combine this phone with this? Simple. You get this. Oh, sorry. You get this. So what is this little guy for some kind of phone? Well, it's a Sony Ericsson SK17i. Just roll out of your tongue. It got released on August 2011. The display is 7.62 centimeters, about 3 inches. The resolution is 320 times 480 pixels. The GPU is an Andreano 205. The processor type is a Qualcomm Scorpion with an operating system that is an Android Gingerbread 2.3. The internal storage is 320 megabytes, although you can add an extra storage with 32 gigabytes. In this case, it will be a micro SD card. The RAM in this little guy is 512 megabytes. If we take a close look at the camera on the back, it is 5 megapixels. The camera on the front is 0.3 megapixel camera. This is the test for the front camera on the phone. So as you can see, it's not crystal clear, but it's at least better than the Samsung Galaxy Tab I reviewed for a few days ago. So that's already a win. And while it's not 4K, it does what it's supposed to do very good actually, so you don't really miss anything. And especially when you lived in 2011, you couldn't ask for more because this was one of the better things you could get. Well, probably you could get something a little bit better, but this was just fine back then. I mean, it's such a small thing can deliver something this on the front camera. I mean, thumbs up from me. And a test on the camera from the back. So, of course, this one is better on the quality of the video in general. And this looks great, to my, in my opinion. I mean, 720, so perfect. It does what it's supposed to do. So, nothing to complain here. Still better than the Samsung Galaxy Tab. The video recording can record in a resolution of 1280x720p. The zoom is an 8x digital zoom. The Wi-Fi in the phone is 3G. And it has a 3.5mm headphone jack. The battery inside is a 1200mAh ion battery. So it takes about 5 hours talk time before this one dies out on battery. The width on this little guy is 53mm, the height is 92mm, and it only weighs 136 grams. So here we have the phone, so as you can see it's really really tiny, it's almost like holding a GoPro or something. But as you can see it's pretty thick though. So the headphone jack is up there, you turn on and off the phone here, and you, of course you charge the phone there. So to get access to the keyboard, you just simply slide the whole screen to the left, or to the right, I mean. And then you have the keyboard here, and it lights up pretty good in the darkness, so you can see what you're doing. So, let's say if I will write a message here. So if I would do it like this, it would be a little bit diff different, because you get all these old ways to type your message. So you have to press several times on each button to get one letter you want. So if I write Hi How Oops oh. Yeah, you see I have to press several times on the same button to get each letter. But let's do this then. How are you? And question mark there, but I can't find it right now, so let's continue on. I am fine. Thanks for asking. So today when each person sit like this with the with these phones, before we had this kind of thing and well it kinda is a little bit more funnier to press than just on the screen, but as you can understand, it's much easier to use these ones and just push like this. So you wonder how big the phone is? Well, let's take a closer look. Here's the phone, obviously. And here is the camera I usually record with. So, if we do like this, or maybe like this instead, you can see they are basically the same size. 
and same thickness as well. And compared to something else, I have my PlayStation Vita here. Now you see how big the PlayStation Vita is and how small the camera and the phone actually is. So there we go guys, that's the Sony Ericsson SK17i. It's a very bizarre phone for sure. I mean of course there are a lot more crazier phones out there but that one was crazy for its time. Pretty good look actually if you're asking me, I, mean, I like the keyboard a lot on it. So um, there are more videos coming up with older phones that have cameras in it that we are going to check out that are not really 16 megapixels but they are a little bit less than that. So uh, I'll see you next time.